my name is Rebecca, I'm an art editor, designer and illustrator and I'm going to show you how to quickly make and repeat attractive shapes in order to create quick and easy creative pattern swatches using the pattern creation mode in Illustrator CS6. So I'll walk you through how to arrange a selection of basic shapes, really quick and easy shapes to create the feeling of movement and fun within the pattern. Um, so we're going to start by creating a very very simple shape start off our pattern. So we're going to use the pen tool here. Pen tool. You can also access the pen tool by pressing P on your keyboard. We have a shortcut. So in five simple clicks I'm just going to create a shape. A very simple shape. There we go. So I want my shape to kind of resemble an arrow head because I think the shape of it is going to create kind of a little bit of movement within the pattern and that's what I'm after today. So you can adjust this pattern, um, this particular shape that will be within the pattern. Uh, you can adjust it by going to your direct selection tool here, the little white arrow, and going to your anchor points and moving them around like this so you can kind of readjust your shape after you've drawn it with the pen tool. Uh, you go to your selection tool here, your little black arrow, um, and you can move it around like this. Uh, you can go to your corners, hover around your corners here, and you can see a little, a little um, transform rotational symbol appears here. So you can move it around like this, which is really cool. That's uh, what we need. We need to use that in a minute. Uh, you can also transform your object by right-clicking and going to transform here. Um, which will create a similar sort of effect, move, rotate, reflect, scale and all that. Um, you can also access those by going to object transform. But I want it to be really quick and easy so I'm just going to use this little tool here. So I want to create quite a few of these to create our pattern. So what I'm going to do is copy. So you can go to command C and command V and that will create your copy here. Um, but I find a really quick and easy, very simple way of duplicating your objects and shapes and things. Uh, you hold down Alt like that and you can see a little white arrow appearing on top of your black arrow there. So then you just hold down your mouse and you drag and you can create as many copies really quickly, really simply like this. So that's great, that's what we want. So I'm going to scale these and place them all next to each other quite snugly because I want it to be very detailed so I want it to look quite snug. So there we go. So I'm not too worried about the proportion because I, I like it quite varied um, so I don't mind if the proportions not remain retained. Um, I don't mind it looking a bit squiffy like that. That's, that's fine. But if you do want to retain the proportion click on your object and you hold down shift and that as you can see the proportion is retained and it remains the same as you resize your object if you let go of shift you can see you can now drag it around and change it quite drastically but there we go so we want all these shapes to be placed around each other like this so you just keep on going like that placing them next to each other and all these little very basic simple patterns will create our overall big pattern that's what we're after so let me just do this like that and you can see a kind of movement being created with the shape like that so you could do that really quickly, really easily, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you what I created earlier. So this is what I did with these shapes, like that. So I just kept placing them all together, popping them around the, the edge here, making little ones, and um, creating this kind of shape. So now we just want to colour them up. So I've populated my swatches with these colours here, so kind of pinks and cyans, you know, quite neutral colours, and then having the black. So um, pastel colours we want, 
uh, with some vibrance in there. A bit of pink. And then some more neutral colours there. Cyan. Um, I'm going to keep some of the blacks in there because I think they add a bit of definition and detail and I quite like that. So I want to keep some, some of those. So you just keep on colouring these up very easily just using your selection tool. Clicking on the object and going to your swatches and adding your colour like that. Very, very simple. Very easy. So you keep on doing that until you're happy with all the colour choices. There we go. So keep on colouring them up. And that's what I've done. I've carried on colouring them up with all these different colours here. There we go. So that's what you should do. You select them all now once you're happy with those colours. And again, don't worry too much because you can you can change them at a later date. You can alter them when you're in pattern creation mode which is fantastic so you go to object and you go to pattern and you go to make there we go so you can see all those copies around around your original there so you can dim those copies if you want to like that so you can focus on the central original pattern but I like to keep it I like to keep my copies at 100% so I can really see what's going on so there we go. With this pattern options tool, it's fantastic. You have all these different options of tweaking your pattern and making it look fantastic, really, really tightening everything up. So it's set to tile type, grid. I want to change that. I'm going to hex by column because I think it works better with this pattern. So as you can see, the pattern wraps around to the other side here. So there's a little bit of overlap. Um, there's some spaces here that I want to fill, I think. So I'm going to adjust this bounding box here to move the pattern in closer and tighter. So you go to your pattern tile tool here, which is this little one, and you select your bounding box and you just move everything in a little bit closer together like this. So as you can see, everything's moving in closer. So I think that's working quite well just adjust it slightly okay so now having a look I can see that there's some overlap here I'm not too happy about that so I'm going to change that go to my selection tool and I can see that this guy here he's causing a problem so I'm going to move him over here so you can see he's gone from there now that that shape that shape's moved and it affects all the other patterns around that's good. I'm going to move this shape here because he's causing a problem as well. Don't want any overlapping really. Pop him there. Scaling down a little bit. There we go. Okay. And let's have a look. Let's move this one as well. Over here. So you just carry on tweaking until you're happy move that one now there we go so I, i'm happy with that you can always carry on tweaking a bit later but i think what essentially what it's missing at the moment is some detail i want to add a pattern within these shapes so we're going to be creating a pattern within a pattern because i think it will add more depth and it will make this very simple pattern seem a bit more detailed than it actually is um so what we're going to do we're going to create another pattern here in a new document, so you create a new document. Just want that to be black, I think. Very simple shape. So that's just using your rectangle tool here. And we're going to go to the ellipse tool and create some circles like that. That's cool. And I want to create a triangle very very easy to create shapes very simple like that i want another one of those so holding down alt create a duplicate rotate it 180 degrees just by eye very quickly um let's create a line like this that's fine scale it down 
and very quickly, very rapidly. Um, and you just carry on creating these very simple shapes. You can just duplicate and rotate and skew and scale and all sorts of things like that. So you just carry on creating those and until you get something that looks like this, like that. So as you can see, it's very simple. I've used a grey fill for some of these and the stroke is also grey on the black. So very quickly, very simply, just very simple shapes. Very easy to do. So you select all these again, like we did in the last pattern. You go to Object and you go to Pattern and Make. And then there we go, it comes up with your pattern. So we're going to keep it tower type grid this one and I don't want any white borders so I'm going to get rid of those to do that I'm going to go again to my pattern tile tool select that and I'm going to pull these in the bounding box in slightly so we're almost closer together and get rid of that that white box surrounding our pattern because we're not interested in that there we go for our pattern. So very quickly, very simple, created a cool pattern there. So I'm happy with that, I think that works well. So you save a copy, you name up your pattern, so black pattern, there you go, and you go OK, and that will save it into your swatches. So it's right there. That's brilliant. By saving a copy, you can also carry on editing this pattern you can carry on doing whatever you like to it you can change a few things for example you can move that there change it around you can color it up differently and then you can save another copy so essentially you can save your progression of this pattern and it will save to your swatches here and you can carry on editing as soon as you click done it will take you out of the pattern creation mode and back to your original pattern as you can see the changes uh, don't affect your original so your original will stay the same so there we go all the editing you do will not affect your original artwork that you have here which is great and if you want to edit your pattern at any time you can just go back in double click and there we go you can edit it again change it around so that's brilliant so now we have our pattern we can go back into our original pattern and select these shapes here. So I want to add this new pattern I've created to the blacks, black shapes. So there's our pattern there. There we go. So I'm just going to carry on adding this new pattern to these black shapes here. And you can carry on doing that. You can create additional patterns for the pinks, for the blues, and just keep building it up so there's lots of texture and depth and detail to, to your pattern. So essentially it's a pattern within a pattern, so I think that's great. So you carry on doing that until you're happy with it. Keep building it up and then you click done. Okay. Brilliant. So that's saved to our pattern swatches. There and I'm now going to add it to a shape to show you take a rectangle tool create a shape here like this go to our pattern click on it make sure you're, you've got the fill selected so it's adding it to the fill and not the stroke and you'll be able to see there's our pattern so this is one I carried on building on very quickly, very simply, just adding more shapes here and creating new patterns and adding those patterns within these shapes. So very easily to do, very quickly, and I think it looks good. I'm happy with that. So now with this pattern, you can do all sorts of fun things with it. Um, for example, you can add it to stationery, um, letterheads and your branding and things like that, or you can add it to products. So I really wanted a new iPhone case, so I'm going to add it to 
an iPhone case because I think that's really cool. So I created an iPhone template, iPhone case template. Um, you can get the dimensions online really easily. You can even download a template from the internet if you just do a Google search. Uh, I'm sure you'll find one. Um, or you can just create one yourself with the dimensions you find online using the pen tool. Just very quickly, that kind of thing. All the dimensions are there for you. So that's what I did. I created mine using the pen tool. And to add your pattern, you just select the path, the outside path, and you click on your swatch like that. So that's the pattern that I created earlier to go within the shapes of my original pattern. But I quite like it on its own actually, so I'm going to use that as one of my iPhone case. Click on this one, and here's another one. So as you can see, those patterns are integrated here within this pattern. And that's it. So really easily, really quickly creating patterns within patterns uh, using the pattern creation mode in Illustrator CS6. Um, just very quick and effective, very simple. And, um, and there we go, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for listening.